This is a B-Way Equipment Sunpack S470-30. Uh, your S is for the uh, standard series here machine you're looking at. 470 is the 400 centimeter width here, approximately 8 inches tall, a little under 8 inches. And the 30 is a 30 millimeter machine, which is set up for 30 millimeter wide uh, tape material, which is about an inch and 1.2 inches. Um, this, this machine is currently sitting on the optional feeder base. This is not included. With, they are available for purchase separately. Uh, please contact us if you're interested. This allows you to run larger rolls, which lowers your consumable costs and, ch and decreases change over time between rolls. So that is optional, but does not in, not included with this machine. So, anyways, um, this machine will do band three different ways. You can either press the uh, start button here. You can there's a sensor here for automatic mode. Just when you place the product in, we'll show you both. And there's also an optional foot pedal that you can use as well. For operating the machine, come down here. Uh, you have pretty much two menus. One, the function menu, just change between manual and auto. We'll go ahead and do that in a minute here when we're going to actually change between manual and auto. Your parameter setting as well is available here. This is how long the machine preheats, which is 5 10 seconds, how long it feeds for, how long, it, the, the, how long it, <clears throat> the temperature of the heating, your tension. Um, you can do a pause if you want after it bands it, so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and run a band here on manual. It's got some, I don't know, Try fold it or something here. Just go ahead and press the start button. So that's one way. The other way is I'm going to go to auto. And auto, I'm just going to stick it in, and the sensor is going to make it run. So that's that. Um, next, I'll show you, you can run plastic as well. So, as I said, it's currently feeding off the feeder base. So there's currently white paper coming from here. So if you go ahead and look down in here, you'll see we got some paper coming down. We're just going to snip that real quick and go ahead and pull the remaining paper out of the machine here. I could have reset that and pulled that out before I did this, but I forgot. So, anywho, you got a roll of plastic material here. It's very easy to change rolls. This is how you'd be feeded if you have you don't have the optional feeder base. Just slide it on in there. Go ahead and put it up in this. There's a little area right here. There's a little piece you lift. And you just slide it up in there. Once you have it in there a little ways, close this up, hit feed, get it started, there we go. So now we're fed with some plastic. Just change the settings real quick for plastic. Oh, that should work. There's a plastic band there that was on auto. Got an auto, you just drop it in there. Your plastic bands, nice and clean. Now these are pretty sturdy. You can't just tear these off, but you do need to take them off if you grab them right by the where the band location was. You usually still get them off. But as far as <clears throat> tension, these plastic bands are pretty sturdy. We're running 120 mil here. You can run as low as 100 on this machine which is a little thinner plastic.